Hello everyone, um, welcome to the well overdue uh, update to the channel. Yeah, I've, um, there's been a good reason for that, I think the last video I posted up was back in February. Yeah, during that time I've uh, had been battling a serious leg infection uh, which I got uh, while I was doing some building work and sort of killed my um, interest in doing any painting at, at the time. Uh, it's probably only the last two or three months that I've actually got back to picking up a paintbrush again. But um, I just wanted to show you guys and girls if you're happy watching um, just what I've been able to do in the last uh, last few weeks. And um, what I'm starting off with now is what you're looking at there is a uh, selection of Great Northern War stuff. Um, starting firstly is these fine fellows here. They're the old um, musketeer miniatures sculpt sculpture by Bill Thornhill. Um, obviously, he's he's now um, set himself up as footsore miniatures, but this range is no longer carried by them. I think uh, you can. He sold the moulds to um, some gentlemen in the United States. I think they're called Wee Willy. Um, if anyone wants to know about that, I can find out and post a link in um, in the uh, comments. Um, now, before I go on to these guys, we'll have a look at these ones firstly. These are um, warfare miniatures. Um, Better known as League of Augsburg, uh, Barry Hilton. His his reign sculptured by Clebinarium, I think his name is. I don't know what his real name is, but I must admit I bought these probably three or four years ago. And to look at them in the flesh, I thought they were slight and very small, but I'll tell you what, when you do them up, they are actually, they, they say the horses are bloody awesome, and... They really, really come up, come up nice. So yeah, I've done this uh, uh, this unit here. Um, I've got another. Yeah. Oh, watch what I'm looking at. Yeah. They, they said that I'm really pleased with the way they come up. Um, now the these ones at the front here. Now these are old. War Games Foundry figures. Now I actually bought these off eBay a few years ago and they came like that. And um, as you can see I was they weren't in very good condition. Um, so uh, I said because they were done to the they're the original War, War Games Foundry figures are on the bit on the small side again, but I thought ah sort of I'll be um, I'll paint them up and just I'll do a bit of a makeover on them. So and this is what they came out like. Um, this is one of the this again so some of the War Warfare Finite Miniatures flags for the Great Northern War. These are Russian infantry, just plain old infantry. The good well, one thing I like about the Great Northern War, and I've now bought several reference books. Um, regards to uniforms, um, I'm really um, blown away by the the uh, difference in the uniforms, the, the variance. Just in the within the Russian army alone, you know, you got you can have blues, whites, reds, as well as the traditional green uh, that we normally associate with uh, the Russians. Um, even some of the cavalry of yellow jackets, for for instance. So, yeah, they've they've come up. I've been very pleased. Now the last last one at the back here is now I, I don't know who makes these figures. I thought they were War Games Foundry, but um, I can't find them in their catalogue at all. But again, these were very similar to these ones in the fact they were very. Um, run down, but they came on a on a vignette very similar to this. So what I did, I tried to make it have it um, 
faithful to the, the original as I bought it off as I bought it off eBay and so I just basically just repainted them all give them a whole uh, different uh, uniform colors as would be befitting early 18th century uh, generals especially in the Russian army it seems um, the table and the chairs came came with that uh, vignette um, it had crappy old tree so I just replaced it with a, a woodland scenic tree and um, yeah so that's the command stand for my uh, Great Northern War Russian army which is coming along quite nicely okay now moving on to the Seven Years War as you can see the Austrians have been able to get some significant reinforcements for their heavy cavalry namely uh, 44 cuirassiers these are all by front rank so there's one set the first unit is 24 the, the unit at the back is 20 figures um, I may add another four figures to that one at the back at some stage I've got plenty of unpainted uh, Austrian cuirassier figures and boxes as I'm, as I'm finding out as I keep going through my stuff as I slowly organize my war games room in here but uh, they've come out quite nicely um, I've still got to get some flags and I see on there's someone on eBay who's eBay UK who's selling uh, seven years war um, flags which look quite nice a lot better price than the GMB ones so anyway that's that's quite a good place because my, my current Austrian army only has uh, dragoons at the moment and hussars so yes it's nice to get some some heavy heavy cavalry on the uh, in the collection for them now, not, not to be forgotten these guys are whoops our old glory figures but these are ones I had sitting around I'm, I think I bought these when I was in um, when I was in living in England in the, in the mid 90s I think I, I think a little day trip up to um, from the Lake District up to uh, Northumbria and I bought a whole, a whole heap of seven years war stuff um, I think that's where I got it, or it might have been one of the shows, one of the two that I went to. But anyway, these were lying around. I, I had this paint, this gun painted many years ago, but I realised I didn't have a crew for them. So I dug around, found these four figures, and painted them up. Um, just as an aside, I've painted these using the uh, Citadel contrast colours. I forget which colour the colour that is. When I've, I've, I'm starting to. I've only bought five of the colours so far, and um, I find it's actually a good colour for doing browns and also for doing horses, if um, anyone takes anything out of that. But anyway, that's all ready to go. Now, the their erstwhile um, foes, the Prussians, have not been forgotten either. Although, all they've got is this lot. <laughs> um, two gun batteries um, on the left hand side there is a foundry that's foundry I think it's just like a six pounder gun and this is a front rank I think it's a 12 or 18 pounder gun so yeah and that's I just painted those up this I think I've used Extra, extra well, dark Prussian blue and then highlighted with Prussian blue to get um, yeah, I certainly have a lot of fun um, just doing these bases as well we've got a very good um, model railway shop here in Christchurch in New Zealand and um, sell a lot of this grass stuff um, I think this is Knock, 
you know, just the, just the sheets of grass. Uh, one of the guys in our group makes all these um, these flower tufts, so I can get that. I can put a whole heap of those, and and he's um, he's very reasonable in the way he uh, charges these to us guys in our group. Um, so that's very nice. These guys at the back, if we just focus, here we go. Now, one thing I realised when I had a seven years war game um, two or three months ago, that uh, I had hardly any uh, mounted Prussian commanders in my seven years war Prussian army. So I had these sitting around. Um, again, I think it was part of a lot that I bought when I was over in England back in the game back in the 90s. But uh, I've I've repainted them, um, and the thing is with the what I've been reading about the Prussian generals um, is that they would normally keep the uniform of the regiments which they were the um, what was it the in harbour of the other the the, the, um, you know, the colonel or whatever. Um, so yeah, I was able to have a bit of fun with the different uniforms again with these. Um, so they've come up. I'll show you this bloke. Okay, and these are front rank figures. So that's uh, that's one problem alleviated. Right, so moving along. Oops, wrong way, of course. Here we go. Now I'm slowly um, converting a whole heap of elite figures I had. Some of them were painted as, well, mostly painted as French. Uh, slowly joining my um, Italian army. Um, in this case, uh, this is, um, I think they're a battery of 12 pounders, but the they were obviously painted as French. So what I've done is just changed the dark, green, dark blue uniforms for dark green and um, just got a much bolder red um, going on them. At the moment I haven't, I haven't really touched up the guns. These, a lot of the, some of these figures were well, some of the, some of the, my figures in my collection were uh, when we had a big leapsick fight back in 2013. I transported them back in the trailer up to Wellington from Christchurch, which is you know, three three and a half hours drive, and they got banged around. And as you can see, some of the things were chipped. So soul destroying as that was, um, I've only just got around to buddy uh, getting these all redone but um, I'm really pleased the the way they've, they've come up and uh, yeah so my Italian army finally has some uh, some artillery and whilst I'm on that these guys here you would have, this is from a video from about three years ago I did this this is a third Italian um, light infantry. This is the first battalion, part of one of the companies from the first battalion. Now, what I'm doing is, I just move this a bit. As you can see, I'm repainting these. I've already done one, doing one of the grenadiers for them. So that'll be the second battalion of the third battalion light infantry. Uh, I think my goal here at the moment is to get is to have two light uh, two light battalions and six line battalions uh, for my Italian army. They will um, be joining uh, my guard regiments, which I think it's got four. I've got four units of that. I think some of you've seen some of those in my um, videos as well. I said I've got another French 
um, unit which will become the Illyrian uh, regiment, well at least one, one battalion thereof, so they've got an all dark, beautiful, all dark blue uniform very similar to the um, French light infantry, so that'll be something to do. Yeah, next lot, just some, I bought these off, uh, I saw these unpainted on eBay, so I thought, ah, oh, what the hell, I'll buy them, and uh, just painted them up. Um, all the crosses I've had to do by hand, I did the shield by hand as well. But again, just using my technique of undercoating with... I think it's buff, the Vallejo buff, or it might be ivory actually, sorry, and then put, putting a, a soft tone ink over it, um, and so they get some nice, some nice depth to the white. And um, but I said I, so I went for went for a warm white for the for the cloth, but for a colder white because I started indicated grey with the um, with his cape there. Okay. And, these are uh, say gripping beast uh, models and whilst I'm sort of underwhelmed by their dark age you know their Vi the Vikings and stuff like that um, these are very very nice sculpt um, yeah they've come up I'm very pleased with the way these guys have come up Yeah, I didn't hand paint that shield by the way, that's a, that's a transfer. Um, just made the flag myself, but all the all the, cro the other crosses are all done by hand. And this guy as well. So plenty of blood on the shields. Pagan blood they'll say. Alright, so that's that lot. Now I've always had a the final the final thing is um I'll show you these. These are these are 40 mil figures. Um they're French Indian wars, they're they were originally done through I forget who's the um who was Trident, that's right. They were through the miniature service centre in in the states now a, a bloke in new zealand has bought the entire mold range for these and he's actually continuing to expand the range so if you have any interest in doing uh, french indian wars in 40 mil these are your figures i've had immense fun painting these and they really come up nice with the sculpting and the casting is absolutely crisp and clear. Um, three layers of um, three layers of uh, color on the cloak. Uh, there's I undercoat it with I think it's a uniform grey by Army Painter. Then I use a, a Vallejo medium sea grey, and then a lightest grey because from what I from what I read the, um, the French jacket was I think it's called pearl grey but um, so I've done them I don't know a few of my friends who also who have also done these have gone with um, more of a white but uh, my figures my my choice <laughs> um, just as it also just as, a, as an aside the basing flock to disregard the flowers but the actual flock itself um, it's a new product I've just bought this first time I used it and I'm very impressed with it it's from Luke's APS um, this is the forest floor um, stuff they call called and um, it looks, it's very whilst it's dark plenty of flecks of colour in it um, these guys were, were done differently so don't worry about that but Yeah, and this is the very first guy I did. He's just um, he's a Compagnie Franche de la Marne, 
I think it is. You know, there were the French Marines, the colonial troops, who did a lot of the fight, a lot of, a lot of the fight, fighting in uh, the French Indian Wars for the French. But uh, that's that's one. But these guys are and the other are in the uniform of La Reine. So yeah, we've been having some a lot of fun games um, with uh, just using yeah, using this range. And uh, I think Rebel, Rebels and Patriots um, were all from Osprey, and they say they're not too bad. Anyway, so that's anyway that's what we've been up to, and you know, I've sort of really got the painting bug back now, and. Um, yeah, I think what's next on the table is, well, I'm just trying to work through all the stuff that I've had just sitting around in front of my, um, some shelves. I just pan, pan right. If we just look up there, all those shelves up there have different buddy projects um, which need to be finished. So I'm, I'll be slowly moving through that. Um, there you go, and just to motivate, motivate me, I shall be having one of those in a minute. <laughs> anyway, it's uh, it's good to get a good get a good uh, update uh, done, and uh, I I promise to keep these regular before, so I'm not going to do that again. But uh, fingers crossed, I can get some more done um, in the next. A week or two and give you another update okay bye guys